Momentum is a vector. It has both a magnitude and a direction. We can break it into horizontal and vertical components. If we were in three dimensions, we could break it into three components. But let's keep things simple for now. The momentum in the horizontal or x direction will always be conserved. Likewise, the momentum in the vertical direction. The net momentum before a collision in the horizontal direction is equal to the net momentum after the collision in the x direction. And the same can be saved for the vertical. Likewise, the total momentum will always be conserved, which is the magnitude of the momentum. And we can find that using the Pythagorean theorem. In this computer simulation from Boston University, we can see a red ball is moving towards a stationary blue ball. The purple dot represents the center of mass of the two balls. Looking at the center of mass, you can see that the purple ball is always midway between the red ball and the blue ball, and that the momentum or rate of change of the purple ball never changes. The purple dot, since it's the center of mass of the system, represents the momentum of the system. And we can see the system never has any vertical momentum. And the horizontal momentum of the system never changes. It's always to the right. Before the collision, the blue ball has no momentum, and the red ball has only a horizontal momentum. After the collision, both balls have a certain amount of horizontal, and they both have opposite vertical momentum. These opposite vertical momentums actually cancel out. We could easily apply what we've just seen in this simulation to the equations that were introduced before. The horizontal momentum before the collision is the same as it is after, and the vertical which was nothing before the collision, is also the same as what it is after. Now we can look at what's happening in a common game of billiards. In this first little clip, there is no vertical momentum either before or after the collision because the ball hits head on. The subsequent clips are similar to the computer simulation where before the collision, there is only horizontal momentum. But after the collision, each ball has equal and opposite vertical momentum. Another great example of two-dimensional momentum is using the law of reflection, which was developed by Newton. Imagine a ball bounces, such as a basketball. When it bounces, the direction of its momentum is reversed. Now imagine instead of just a ball bouncing up and down, it hits the ground at an angle, like as in a bounce pass in basketball. The y component of the momentum would be reversed, but the x or horizontal component of the momentum would keep going. And thus we have a reflection at an angle. We can see this exact same thing in the game of billiards. When the cue ball hits the wall, the vertical component of the momentum is reversed, but the horizontal keeps going. The trick to being successful in billiards is to imagine an image of your target and that the wall is a mirror. Particle physicists use conservation of momentum in three dimensions when they collide particles together and see what pops out to explore the unknown. By looking at the results of an explosion, we can figure out what is inside certain particles.